ancestors from. Are you sure? Well, up until now, we've had to depend on family stories and records to tell us what we are. But now science is able to reveal everything about your ancestors that your family never told you. Look around. America is a melting pot of all the world has to offer. Thousands of different cultures. Millions, millions of, of different features. Billions, billions of different faces. faces. But faces don't tell the whole story. When it comes to race, faces can be deceiving. deceiving. What would you, you call, call someone who looks like, like me? Or me. Or me. Meet Amy Graham, adopted by a Minnesota family after being abandoned on a park bench in Korea. Her ancestry is a mystery. I grew up not knowing, never knowing and never really fitting in and never being able to say, well, everybody has, has been able to say, oh, I'm French, Dutch, Irish, Scottish and all this stuff. I'd have been able to say, well, I think I'm Korean and I think I'm black. There's now a way for Amy to know for sure. Anyone can do it. All you need is a little DNA from the cells inside your mouth. Amy took the test along with two other Minnesotans, Crystal and John. Their families tell them they have Native American ancestors. A lot of people think I'm full-blooded Native. It's a curiosity thing to me, and I'd be very curious to know. We sent all their DNA to Genelex Labs in Seattle. Your genes don't lie, and this is going into your biological history. It's like an archaeological dig into your genome to discover your ancestry. Each one of these wells contains someone's DNA, the very building blocks of life, the things that make you unique, can be stored in one of these wells. After an extensive analysis here at Genelex, they break it down to this color code. In this code is your entire family history. All three tests contain surprises. John isn't Native American at all, but he is part Asian and African. That's very interesting. That is very interesting. I, I don't know how to explain that at all. I guess I'm surprised that the Native American, I always thought there was some, something to that. Wow. <laughs> Crystal also got a shock. Remember, a lot of people think she's full-blooded Native American, but the test shows no Native American genes at all. And you wouldn't think looking by looking at me that I was 91% European. So, yeah, things are deceiving. <laughs> Crystal admits being a little disappointed. I mean, I've grown up, like, most of my life, you know, into my Native American culture, and, you know, it's not going to change anything. Wow! Amy had a very different reaction. It turns out she's a little bit of everything. Asian, African, European, and Native American. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. I mean, I feel proud that I can actually say that I am part of everybody now on this planet. Um, people will say, oh, you're a black person. Well, no. Actually, now I can say, well, no, I have white in me. I have Native American in me. Most of us believe what our families tell us about our ancestors. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. Families can keep secrets or bloodlines can be lost over time. Peering into your DNA can reveal things you may or may not want to know. Genealogists say people have mixed reactions when they discover their true genetic history. Some are thrilled, others can be devastated. Now, if you would like to take that ethnicity DNA test, it costs about $400 and takes about six weeks. You can find a link to the Genelex website at KS.